and everyone at home. Here it is, you guys. Uh, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice outside for Easter egg hunting if you wish to do that. 82 degrees today, 85 tomorrow. So afternoon temperatures are going to be really amazing, at least in my book. I love those 80s on the board. And I also want to note that we've got southerly winds, just a bit breezy, guys, 5 to 15 miles an hour. It's going to be a light breeze, but I'll note into our evening hours if you're up late on a Saturday night, Sunday night, whatever, guys, it's going to be gusty. Okay, gusts up to about 20 miles an hour. So that's just something I'm watching out for you. And of course, it is Easter weekend. A lot of us are traveling. And so we've got to start out with these national temperatures, right? 64 for Dallas. Again, we're at about 65 in San Antonio over on the West Coast. Look at that low, a really pom prominent low spinning into San Francisco. It's going to create a lot of activity over there. 49 degrees for them. LA checking in at 54. And then over on the East Coast towards Washington, D.C., we've got Got 49 on the board. Happy to be in the Alamo City, especially because we're going to warm up pretty fast. Now, I know Vanessa was talking about that sun. Will it stick around? Yes, but guys, here's the deal. We're going to have more clouds than we will sunshine, and here's evidence of it at Calaveras Lake, Morgan's Wonderland Camp. A little cloudy this morning, but no issues there, especially because we don't have rain in the forecast. I'll just go ahead and say that right now, and I say forecast for the immediate forecast. We will get some next week, and we'll stay with that in just a minute, guys. Winds are from the south at 7 miles an hour. Dew point has bumped up, right? We're at 61 right now. When we get to 70, that's when we hit really, really humid conditions. That's tropical levels, but we're not there yet. Temperatures across the region again are in the 60s. We don't need to stay on this too long. We do need to note again that our visibility isn't phenomenal into the hill country, western portions of the hill country. Uh, for Kerrville, we're looking at seven miles, so just a little bit of patchy fog. If you're headed that way, be extra careful uh, if you're going there today, especially if you're going to some wineries. It should be a nice day for that though, guys. Wind speeds are going to bump up just a little bit. High pressure. This is our system and our story for the weekend, but you might be wondering when we'll get rain. Of course, I've got that for you too. So Monday, 5 p.m., look at this low that's making its way across the plains, and you're like, okay, where is it? It's right here. This little dip, this U-shape, that is a low pressure system bringing us our next cold front. And with that, here's what we can expect. Just a little bit of rain. Possibility for those storms to turn severe Monday night into Tuesday morning. Uh, we'll give you more on that in a little bit, guys. We're only looking at about less than a tenth of an inch of rain. So for our immediate future cast, which is really what you care about for Easter weekend, let's time it out. Okay, 75 degrees by noon. It's going to be gorgeous. Mostly cloudy skies as you look up at the skies, guys. 79 by 2 p.m. Yeah, we're working our way towards about 80, 81 by 3 and 4 p.m. Uh, and then we're going to go right back down. No, I don't think we'll get to about 83. I think 80 is a safe spot for today. 70s by 9 p.m. So it's good, good tonight. Really, we're going to be fine as far as the temperatures are concerned. And here's your Easter forecast one more time, you guys. A little chilly tomorrow morning, but then we have a beautiful evening uh, ahead of us there for our future cast. There's that dose of rain that's going to start to roll through our region starting on Monday. But after that, less than a tenth of an inch of rain for the next seven days. Here are your seven day temperatures, too. Rising to almost 90 degrees, guys, on Monday. And after that short cold front pushing through on Tuesday, we'll be drying out yet again with 70s and sunshine back on the board. We'll be right back after the break.